<sighs> okay. One last time. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of I Hope This Is A Decent Way To Attach My Mic And The Sound Quality Holds Up Still. And by that, of course, I mean, please, dear God, don't be a bomb. I feel like this is a bad idea. This isn't gonna, like, the direction of my voice isn't going to line up with that. Maybe, I don't know, I don't care. And this is a very special episode of Please Dear God Don't Be a Bomb because we're going to be opening packages in this state of Ohio for the last time. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. Daniel, don't tell me you're moving again. You have moved like five times in four years. It's insanity. Why are you doing this to yourself? And here's what I have to say to you, good sir. I might be addicted to moving. No, I don't think I've ever put this full story in context. So usually it's like the diehard channel people who watch these videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it here. I moved from Virginia to Nashville to learn to code. I moved from Nashville to Alabama for my first coding job. I moved from Alabama to Ohio for my first really good coding job. And then I moved uh, well working at that same job to this place because I was like, hey, I need a better apartment. The one I was in had people puking in it all over the place, not in the apartment, in the building. And now finally, I wanna go home. I wanna go back to Virginia and be around my friends and the place that I grew up in. So I'm going to go back to once where I came from in the next couple of months. Not gonna tell you exactly when. Don't know why, I just feel like that's a bad idea. And before we do that, it's time for one last episode of PDA, PD, PDG, please, dear God, don't be a bomb. P, D, G, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's been a really long day, cut me some slack. And uh, the reason it's the last episode is because I still, while quarantine is happening, don't wanna be doing more of these. A lot of you sent packages to that PO box, even though I specifically asked you not to do that, you little tykes. Don't know what that word means. I need to look it up, see if I censor it or not. I don't think so. And I officially closed the P.O. box here in Ohio and I will be reopening one in Virginia once all this is over. Pips is very upset that I closed the blinds. Let me open them. No, eh, yeah, uh, all right, I'll open them in a second. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this episode of Please Dear God, Don't Be a Bomb. And for those of you who've never seen one of these, yeah, I, 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 I do these. Can I just, oh, there we go. Fate's Pawn by Rick Fox. Guys, if you don't have notes, don't think just because time has passed, I'm now okay with there not being notes. Oh, you better have a note in here. Assuming it's you that sent it, no idea. It is from the author. An author, it says it's from someone with the same name. So what I'm gonna say is thank you for sending me your book. But I need context, my man. But thank you, Rick, for Fate's Pawn. Much appreciated. Gonna put right over here in the pile of the last ever, please God, dear, uh, bomb. <laughs> Hey, and Pips is getting right into the box. Good for you, Pips. This is a great intro to Reynolds' work, space opera-level sci-fi from an astrophysicist. Enjoy. Frosty Topper. That is the dirtiest sounding name I have ever heard from a subscriber. Alistair Reynolds. Diamond Dogs. Turquoise Days. You got a spaceship, and I just, okay. You thought I forgot one of the traditions of the channel. Little did you know I was just waiting for two books for a double spankaroo to welcome us back. Don't think I forgot, don't say it. Okay, Diamond Dogs, Turquoise Days. That sounds like a really rad 60s rock album made by people who do a lot of acid. What song is that? What tune is that stuck in my head? Oh my God, what is that? John McDowell's. Songbird at Midnight, the first Logan Noir novel. Bam, man sitting with, not sitting, kind of sitting, man kneeling, kind of sitting on a tree trunk with gun. He's in the forest with a gun. Sounds like a Stephen King mixed with Dresden book. Do we have a note? We have a note. We have a note. <laughs> then I saw one of your videos discussing how deeply you'd fallen in love with Jim Butcher's Dresden Files. Boom, Stephen King with Jim Butcher. I was at least half right. Thank you. John, much appreciated. Man, these packages have been sitting around for a while. I hope no one sent me anything perishable. No one's ever done that, so I don't think that'll be the case. I'm a little bit afraid. Oh my, what? It's dynamite! Look! I'm gonna get better lighting going. Hold up. Professionalism, thy name is newer. Is this gonna be more, better light or just more general light, which isn't necessarily a good thing? I don't know, whatever. We have dynamite. Oh, so it's a bomb. Catnip, 100% catnip. Oh man. I still have yet to successfully 
convince Pips to try catnip. Um, this is now probably a little bit old catnip, but here you go, buddy. Go get it. Oh, he's definitely interested. You may have successfully gotten Pips to do drugs for the first time. Oh, yeah, he is. Hold up, hold up. Cell phone footage time. Cell phone footage cut in. What's happening? Am I recording now? Now I'm recording. Wow, great. Now you're picking it up. But he is all about this catnip toy. Oh my god. Holy smokes, you just got Pips to start drug usage. Something many have tried to do and failed, but... <laughs> Apparently, all it took was a bomb for please, dear God, don't be a bomb. That's wonderful. What a wholesome message to end please, dear God, don't be a bomb on. It's okay to make cats do drugs. That's the real moral of the story we've, of course, been uh, been striving for here at P-D-Gub-Gub, -Gub, or however you'd say the acronym for this show. I think you've got him stoned, man. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'll keep my phone ready to do more recordings in case he starts going absolutely insane. But now it seems like he's already napping. Moving on. Oh, with a... <gasps> you remembered I love wax seals. Thank you. I don't know why I whispered that. That was way too intimate. He's back on the toy. Tony Johnson. And what we have here is... What's a very appropriate name for a fantasy book. The Story of Evil. A hero's downfall. Wow, it's got a man holding a fire and ice sword, and then a dragon breathing ice fire above him. Fascinating, fascinating. That is a good cover. That is a good cover. I like it. And I'm going to go ahead and do another dual book spank. Don't think I forgot. I'm gonna spank every book. I don't. I I never make mistakes. Oh no. No! The Dragon Lords, Fool's Gold by John Hollins. We have a mob spanning off against a dragon who is very easily about to murder all of them. They have no chance. They are going to die. That is a big dragon and very stupid people. Pips, that is, wow, you love that toy. Wow! Hold up. Uh, he is still just, do you hear that? I am so happy, and this is such a weird thing to be happy about, that in the last episode in Ohio of Please Dear God Don't Be a Bob, Pips has decided to do drugs. <laughs> and by that I mean catnip, YouTube. Don't demonetize me, please. Holy smokes. Good lord. All right, moving on. That's enough. All right, we need to focus on the packages. I know not everyone's here for Pips. I'm kidding. We're all here for Pips. Good God. He's just rubbing it on his head. Oh. Hello, current Daniel. Oh, wow. We're going with the current Daniel, past Daniel, future Daniel reference. That's a deep cut on the channel, I think, maybe. I don't know. Past Daniel said there was no need to send the most recent editions, but we all know past Daniel not to be trusted. Oh, Steven, I know it's you. Oh, Steve, that was so wholesome. But why would you say you hope future Daniel will enjoy them when you know for sure future Daniel will eventually become past Daniel? and past Daniel cannot be trusted. The lore of the channel's getting meta. Anyway, we have the Valley of Embers with a new cover that is Woman with Fire Hand About Attack Demon. And Steven, I know you're here for it, so... There you go. There's a nice... I call that the salute spank. It's very, very, very respectful. Then we have uh, the Forever Night with people around a fire. Some of them look on guard, some of them look very casual. Bam, this is one thick boy, much thicker than the other one. I call that the, that's the backhand. I'm giving it the... And we have... Oh, I've seen this cover. This one I've definitely seen. With a frost thrown person behind them. Definitely seen that one before. Man, these are sick covers, man. Uh, we have people fighting in the air once again. Uh, green, uh, poison smoke looking stuff with some, some fire. The Midnight Dunes! With, is this? Yeah, this is book three. And we have a demon with three magical people looking, fighting him. Man, battle mages are always fun, right? Magical weapons going up against big baddies. I love that stuff. Uh, those are very out of order. I'm sorry I did not do those in order. Maybe I'll fix that in editing. Oh, come on. Uh, holy smokes, okay. Brock. Brock! It's Brock. Oh, Brock, you're amazing. Uh, get to opening, huh? Okay to send you an audible book gift via your email or would? Okay. Email for business things. I, Brock, I love you, but I have to reserve that email for business things, and I can never encourage people to use my email for anything else because the amount of things I get on my email. <sighs> okay, thank you so much, Brock, and your letter is very sweet. Let's, let's go ahead and open this. I have no idea what's going on now. I don't know why, but I feel like an animal is gonna come out of this and attack me. But I trust Brock, so I know that's not gonna be true. <laughs> Talk about deep cuts. Um, I tweeted out 
like uh, months ago that I thought dude wipes were a hilarious product because it's like, oh, I'm the man, but I can't use regular wipes, so I gotta use dude wipes. I'm so manly while I wipe my butthole. Ah. So I, I just thought it was funny. Like, oh man, we're, come on, just use, why do we need this branding? And so I've now been given many dude wipes. Is this literally going to be all dude wipes? If so, this is hilarious. Yeah, more dude wipes. Yeah, that's like a solid, uh, that's like a solid week of wiping there. <laughs> what is my life? What is my, I'm alone in an apartment holding stacks of butt wipes yelling about them. What is my life? And now that you hopefully had enough on that, the real April Fools, uh, the Come on, man. I only do butt stuff. Uh. Well, we've answered the question on what my life is, um, I can't wear this in public. <laughs> By Sea and Sky, with maybe the most creatively designed ship I have ever seen that actually looks like a sky ship in the background and a very angry sailor woman on the cover. The Sky Pirate Chronicles. Bam! Interesting cover right there. I enjoy it. I definitely enjoy anything with a nautical theme. That's kind of an instant win for me because boats have a very special place in my heart. I like a glancing blow every now and then. This is the level of respect Amazon shows your packages. This is the note and the receipt. Hi Daniel, I hope you like adventure, war, deep character arcs, and dragon barbecue from Sean. Run into the fire, Sean Padraig. There is just fire on the cover, but I like that. That's a bold, minimal choice. It's not my favorite ever, but I dig it. I, I can see the appeal. How far will what you believe take you? Will it give you the strength to go all the long way? When you arrive, can you draw on it for courage? And does dragon taste like chicken? You get the ground spank. This feels very delicate and is torn a little bit. From Brock again. Oh man, these are so cool. Uh, I write these words in steel. These are two Mistborn, uh, wait, what is she now, a goddess or a monster? Oh man, they're, t oh gosh. Okay, so we have a Mistborn and a Poppy War bookmark made of metal. They're very nice. I, oh man. Thank you so much for the bookmarks. These are fantastic. I appreciate them, man. These are, oh, these are so beautiful. I'll put them with my dude wipes. <laughs> There's white powder in here. Oh, cause the book got wet and it's falling apart. It's all glued together and stuck at the bottom. Crap, I'm sorry. Uh, Guy Windsor, Forsworn by Neil Stevenson, best-selling author of Sevensons. Sword fighting. Is this just a book on sword fighting? Gross. I'll have to clean that up. Thank you so much for sending me that. It does seem like it has been ruined though as it's chunking apart. Oh, this is from someone who teaches sword lessons. That's amazing. Uh, and if I'm ever in Jacksonville, Florida, I will swing by for a lesson. Um, you didn't write this book. I'd feel even worse if it was something you wrote, but this book that you wanted to send me and you care about, unfortunately seems to have been ruined in the transit. I, I sincerely apologize about that, but there's obviously nothing I can do. I'm just gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it moving. For the first time ever, Amazon has just included these as one giant piece of paper. Hi Daniel, I've been watching your videos for a while. Your real time and Mistborn tattoos immediately told me you have very similar, <laughs> we have very similar sensibilities. I hope you like this book. P.S. I enjoy the slog. I did skim through wardrobe descriptions though. Then you're not a real fan. The Last of the Wicked with a cartoon stylized cover of witches, it looks like, with guns. Witches and guns, that is something I haven't seen before. And an MP3 player on the front. That's the first MP3 player or iPhone or something I've ever seen on a fantasy cover. We have a very interesting cover here that I like quite a bit. Skabam! Ah! You guys, I've been sent this like six times. At least watch the previous episodes before you send me. It's the Iron Druid Chronicles. Uh, hounded. Wonderful. I have another one. I will donate this to my local library. It's my last donation haul. Hi, Daniel. I have a lot of fun with this series despite its flaws. It has a really fun view on religion that I love. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, yes. Thank you, Cameron Reagan. And I'm sure the people at my local library will be very happy. Stop. Wire. Your bad wire. Okay. This is the first time I've ever seen perforation down the middle of a package. It did not work well. That was a bad design choice. His Majesty's Dragon, terrifyingly entertaining from Stephen King, written by Naomi Novik. Very nice cover, kind of classical looking. It has a nautical theme. There's a dragon in it. In what looks like a colonial era, 
I'm sorry, I own writing fantasy nautical books. No one's done it before me. I'm in currently doing it, not even published, but it means I, I own the, I, no, I'm kidding. Uh, this looks really interesting, and you know I have a soft spot for Stephen King recommendations. How dare you exploit me like this? But thank you so much, I, I, I greatly appreciate it. I don't think there was a note. In fact, I'm, I'm sure there's not. You said this before I did a certain video. Big damn Big Daddy Daniel. I may be your most hated subscriber, but I have a feeling you'll enjoy this book. Much love to Beastie Benster. You were wrong, sir. My Six of Crows review is currently up, and if you'd like to see me talk about how much I didn't enjoy that book, feel free to go check it out. Uh, By the Thaniel Lowell. Quarter Shape, book one, a trader's tale from the golden age of the solar clipper. Kabam! See the note here? There's a very interesting space space cover. You got a head spank, that qualifies. All right, hi Daniel, read this through Kindle Unlimited and loved it, wanted to support the author with a purchase and what better way as a, than as a gift for someone else. Hope you enjoy it when you get the chance from Ben. Thank you, Ben. What a nice looking little space romp right there. Gets a head spank, I appreciate that. But this has been the last ever episode of Please Dear Blood Don't Be a Boom Boom in Ohio with a massive haul for recycling, which my recycling's already full, so I'll need to take care of that. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And have a good one, y'all. Peace. And of course, I'd like to give a special shout out to my latest high tier Patreon, Liz Willoughby. Thank you so much for the support. Much appreciated.